signs of excessive blood clotting. Heart attack. A blood clot in a coronary artery can lead to a heart attack. A heart attack occurs if blood flow to a section of heart muscle becomes blocked. If blood flow isn't restored quickly, the section of heart muscle becomes damaged from lack of oxygen and begins to die. Complications of blood clots. Blood clots can form in, or travel to, the arteries or veins in the brain, heart, kidneys, lungs, and limbs. Blood clots can limit or block blood flow. This can damage the body's organs and cause many problems. Sometimes blood clots can be fatal. Pulmonary embolism. If a blood clot travels from a deep vein in the body to the lungs, it's called a pulmonary embolism, or it is a serious condition that can damage your lungs and other organs and cause low oxygen levels in your blood. Stroke. A stroke can occur if blood flow to your brain is cut off. If blood flow is cut off for more than a few minutes, the cells in your brain start to die. This impairs the parts of the body that the brain cells control. A stroke can cause lasting brain damage, long-term disability, paralysis, an inability to move, or death. Kidney problems and kidney failure. A blood clot in the kidneys can lead to kidney problems or kidney failure external link icon. Kidney failure occurs if the kidneys can no longer remove fluids and waste from your body. This causes a buildup of these fluids and waste in your body, high blood pressure, and other health problems. Deep Vein Thrombosis A blood clot in a vein deep in your arm or leg can cause pain, swelling, redness, or increased warmth in the affected limb. This type of clot is called Deep Vein Thrombosis, or DVT. Deep vein clots can break off, travel to the lungs, and cause pregnancy-related problems. Blood clots can cause miscarriages, stillbirths, and other pregnancy-related problems such as preeclampsia external link icon, preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is high blood pressure that occurs during pregnancy.